Haha, <laughs> the Portland Trailblazers. Led by my favorite. Oops. Led by my favorite player, Damien Lillard. One of the two guys that made me a hardcore basketball fan. Damien Lillard and Steph Curry. And he actually improved upon his efficiency from the field this year. But this guy's still a baller, man. He's still a baller. And uh, he's without him, they wouldn't have made the playoffs. Period. Period. And, uh, he was the other guy that got me into being a hardcore basketball fan. And uh, Damian Lillard, he's actually probably the most underappreciated guy because he's got incredible offensive abilities. That's at the same time he's just being overlooked. There are a lot of great point guards, but Damian Lillard needs to be in that discussion, man. Not so good defensively, but this guy is terrific. I mean, <laughs> he knows how to attack. He knows how to shoot. He's just incredible offensively. One of the reasons why I was drawn into him. And he's the real reason why the Blazers, I mean, he got snubbed so many times, man. He got snubbed, man. At least he made... Man, he got snubbed in the All-Star break. He got snubbed in the past two All-Star games. And um, I don't even think that he made an All-NBA team. I don't even think that he made an All... I mean, did he? I don't even remember. But he got snubbed, man. He got snubbed, man. He's He is a baller. He's a beast. Comes straight out of Oakland. Oakland made. And... Uh, I mean, just another classic all-time great from Oakland. Following along the lines of Gary Payton, Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce was really Oakland born. He's really from Inglewood, but he was Oakland born. <sighs> However, the Blazers are just so incompetent. I mean, I just, um, look, I really, I really have issues with CJ McCollum. Like, look, he's a good player, all right? He's a good player to have on your roster, but next to Damian, next to Damian Lillard, it's not a good fit. He can create his own shot in certain cases, but I really, I really am not buying the fact that, that I just really don't think that he's an all-star. He's not... He's not an all-star. He's really just going to be a guy that can be your third best player. He's not going to be a guy that can be your second best player on a championship team. Barely third. Barely third in my opinion. I don't think he would be this good if Damian Lillard, if he didn't have a guy like Damian Lillard on the roster, or at least as efficient, I would say. Because having a guy like Damian Lillard would be more so just like, it would... I don't know man it's just it's just really just a sticky situation they have such a sticky situation they just give they practically just give away free contracts I mean just look at that Alan Crabb you know here you go you get 18 million dollars a year <laughs> here Myers Leonard you get 10 million dollars a year Mo Arkless you get 10 million dollars a year too because we don't care about our cap space and because we have unlimited cap space and we can give out free contracts to everybody so it's just like it's just so it's just so bad because then they're gonna have to pay players i mean they're gonna lose their roster i mean they're stuck with evan turner and alan crab <sighs> they're wasting they're wasting my man damian lillard i am i can't imagine Dame being anywhere else man like it, it would be very weird to see him not wearing a trailblazers jersey because that just seems like the place where he's supposed to be he's gonna have to leave eventually or be traded eventually like i really i really want the blazers to build up something great find a dumb sucker team to trade for this terrible contract these guys are making oh my god this is just so bad they are just in such a terrible situation in an ideal world they would pick up a guy they would tank and pick up a guy like deandre ayton next year or an ideal world, they would be able to get a guy like Josh Jackson. That would be, if he were to fall to the Blazers, that would be the ideal thing. If you trade CJ McCollum just to free up some money. 
I know that would be a controversial thing to do, but I mean, in terms of CJ, like CJ is a guy that can be a winning player for a roster right now, but him in the backcourt with Damian Lillard defensively, that is not going to work. So they're going to have to trade, they should trade CJ McCollum because Damian Lillard is the better basketball player. He'll be making more money, but he's the better basketball player. He's the better one. And uh, they just really, I really hope that they're able to build something. Because, man, he's a beast. He's a baller. So, I mean, if they were to get a guy like Josh Jackson, trade up and get Josh Jackson, that would be kind of ideal. So I hope they end up building something up. That would be ideal. I'm not saying that's going to happen or if that, or even if, even that that's a good chance of ha there's a good chance of that happening but I am saying that they need to free up some money and I think trading CJ might be the only way if they can find a dumb sucker to take on Alan Crabb's contract then that would be ideal too but like they're just in such they're just in such a terrible situation they give out contracts basically for free like it's just so stupid so they're just gonna need to they need to improve upon their defense because they were actually last in defense this past season. Yeah, I mean, oh no, 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 they weren't last, but they were they were close. They were top ten, top seven, and worst defensively. So they're just gonna need to improve upon that because they can't keep doing this. They can get, or maybe not DeAndre Aiden. I said DeAndre Aiden, but. I mean, in an ideal world, they would trade up and get a guy like Josh Jackson. He'll help out his their defense, and he'll provide. He'll be what Evan Turner was supposed to be, but at a better level, and also with better defense. In that sense, so in an ideal world, I mean, I think they should try and trade CJ McCollum. I mean, it doesn't look very good, and it seems unloyal. But if they are really, if they really want to keep Damian Lillard, then they're gonna need to free up some money. And that's the big thing. They need to try and free up some money. Because this team is not going to do anything against the Warriors, period. Or against anybody. But that'll do it for this edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. As we take a look at the Portland Trail Blazers. I'm RJ West and I'm saying so long. Next team we take a look at will be the Chicago Bulls. The team that I built up before I ended up going to the Celtics. So I'll see you then.